I believe whoever invented brunch should have been given a special place in history. You can stick to your early morning routine or have a lion and it leaves the whole afternoon open for whatever you want to get done. It also means that you can enjoy the spring weather outdoors. This inspired our Mela guest chef Kirti Kamal to create a special spring brunch menu, which she's about to share. We join Kirti in Durban. Welcome back to my restaurant. Today I will be sharing recipes for one of my favorite meals of the day, brunch. I have wonderful family memories of enjoying brunch outside during spring in the beautiful sunshine. So to begin with, our first recipe is a lovely fluffy saffron potato omelet with spicy chicken meatballs. These are the ingredients we need for our omelette. Some potatoes cooked in saffron, toasted sesame seeds, finely chopped red chili, chopped coriander, caramelized red onions, tahini, butter, yogurt, and one of my favorite spicy chicken meatballs. So to begin with, I've got three large free range eggs that I'm gonna whisk till it's really nice and light and fluffy. So this is done and it's lovely, light and fluffy. I'm gonna get some oil and some butter into the pan. And this is just gonna prevent the omelet from sticking to the pan. Just gonna add about a half a teaspoon in. Just gonna swirl this around a bit. At this point, we need to switch the heat off and add in our potatoes. Usually we find that omelets are like a crepe style and it's thin and light and then we have a filling inside. But this is an open omelet similar to a frittata and I've got all my lovely fillings at the top. And I'm just gonna add on some finely chopped red chili. And now I'm going to put the omelet into a preheated oven at 185 degrees Celsius for about six to eight minutes until the omelet is lovely and golden brown at the top. And while I'm waiting for the omelet to cook, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful tahini yogurt. So into the bowl, I'm going to add in some full fat yogurt. Next, I'm going to add in some chopped coriander. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon. Now I'm gonna add in about two teaspoons of tahini paste. Tahini is sesame seeds that have been toasted and ground to a liquid paste. And lastly, a touch of pepper and a touch of salt. And I'm just gonna fold this mixture through. No, for our spicy chicken meatballs. And I'm just gonna heat these up and get them ready to go on top of our omelet, which is almost done. I've just used ready-made chicken sausage and I've removed the casing and rolled the mince into meatballs. The aromas of the spicy chicken meatball brings back such wonderful memories of family brunches that I had at home. And now I'm gonna go and get our omelet, which I think is ready. Our lovely omelette is now ready. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add on our spicy chicken meatballs. And I'm gonna finish it off with our yogurt. Some of this lovely tahini yogurt, which just adds a lovely coolness to all the chili. And I'm also gonna add on some red onion that I've just lightly sauteed in a pan and I'm gonna add on some toasted sesame seeds. So we're just keeping that tahini flavor going through with the tahini paste and now some toasted sesame seeds. And we're gonna finish it off with some micro herbs and it's beetroot for today to add in a beautiful color. I love the rusticness of this omelet that we've served it in the pan and it's ready to go and you can place it on a table, on a board and serve it, especially when you're entertaining guests for brunch at home. So for our spinach pancakes with poached eggs and sour cream, I've got some washed and dried baby spinach, some cumin ground and toasted, some spring onions, some green chili, some lemon zest, 
our salt and pepper for seasoning, and we've got pea shoots and edible flowers to garnish. In a large bowl, I have here some flour and milk and baking powder and an egg yolk. And I've just whisked this till it's quite smooth. And I've added in some dried herbs as I have here. So to finish the actual batter off, I've got the one egg white. And I'm gonna whisk this lightly. Now we're just incorporating in a little bit of air. We don't want these to be too fluffy. So I'm gonna fold these egg whites in gently, but I've got a few more ingredients that I'd like to add in. And once again, I'm adding in Indian flavors to a traditionally European dish. And I've got some ground toasted cumin, some chopped spring onions, some chopped chili, the zest of one lemon, and just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. So I'm just gonna set this aside so I can chop up some spinach for our batter. So I've got some lovely fresh and green baby spinach and this actually makes it quite a healthy dish. I'm gonna pop this chopped spinach into our batter and we're gonna fold this through because we need the spinach to be covered in the batter completely. So I'm gonna start cooking these off now. Turn on the heat and just keep it quite low because we don't want to burn the batter. I'm gonna add in some vegetable oil, about a tablespoon of butter, and I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon at a time. So we don't wanna make them too big and we wanna keep them quite compact. This is quite a rustic brunch dish and you don't really want to worry about getting them too round. Once you find that it's starting to cook on the sides, that's when you can actually lift them over. So we're gonna keep it quite close to the pan when we turn it over. And this way you don't actually burn yourself with splashing oil and hot butter. So these cook quite quickly and I'm gonna transfer them to our plate that we're serving it in. So I'm gonna add on the last one and we're just stacking that up. So I've got some water on the boil for our poached eggs, which are gonna go on top of our green spinach pancakes. I know that some people find poached eggs quite tricky, but there's a few tips involved that would help you when you're making them. And the first one being is that your water has to be on a rapid boil, and then you add in some white vinegar, and then you bring it to a simmer. So I've got my egg that I've cracked here, and I've got a slotted spoon. And the first thing you need to do is swirl your water and gently add in the egg. And you'll just see the egg white envelope the egg yolk. And while our eggs are cooking, I'm gonna add on a luscious dollop of the sour cream. Next, we're gonna put on our poached eggs and we're gonna gently add that onto one side. Go in for the next one and just add this on. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add on spring onions, some pea shoots and some edible flowers. And there you have it, a simple, healthy and nutritious brunch. Now when you're having something sweet for brunch, it needs to be decadent. And this is my version of the ultimate French toast. So I'm going to begin with our filling. And it's a cream cheese filling and it's quite reminiscent of cheesecake. About a tablespoon of caster sugar, some vanilla extract, and we're gonna give this a good mix. So this filling for our French toast is now ready. So I've got two slices of white homemade bread and I'm gonna soak this in a mixture of egg, milk, cinnamon and some vanilla. And it's really important to soak the bread really well because this is gonna be the casing for your cream cheese filling. And I'm gonna put this on low heat and I'm gonna add in some butter, about a tablespoon. We need this butter to melt and then we can add in 
our French toast and the filling and encase it with the other layer of bread. You need to do this quite gently because you don't want your bread to break. And then just gonna add in some of this cream cheese filling. I'm just gonna spread this out a bit. Now I'm gonna add on our second layer of our bread. So we need to cook this on a low heat because we want an even browning on both sides and we need the French toast to cook all the way through. And I'm now gonna just flip this over gently. And as you can see, it's gotten really evenly golden brown. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm just gonna slide this French toast into a bowl. I have a really easy syrup that's gonna go on top of our French toast. Now, growing up, when my mum made French toast, she often used golden syrup, but I'm making it a bit more decadent by adding in some butter. So we're gonna melt down the butter into the golden syrup and pour it over the French toast while it's warm. I'm gonna scatter on some toasted pecans. So next I'm gonna add on some sliced fresh figs. And now I'm gonna spoon over some of the syrup. And we're gonna end it off with a dusting of icing sugar. I'm just gonna to top it with an edible flour. I've taken my childhood favorite and made it the ultimate indulgence. And there you have it, my three favorite brunch dishes, perfect for spring.